Hey there, this is Tracking25, and we'll go- ah, a spider! Oh, oh my goodness, what are you I can't carry a five mode! Get away, get away! Oh my goodness! The <laughs> and, um... <clears throat> no more mobs, no more mobs. Welcome back to another episode of TK's Let's Play! We are now episode 24, and, um, in that crater over there, uh... Yep, I was blown up by a creeper. Let's see if it's still in the chat. Yes, Tracking25 was blown up by a creeper. So, in that last episode, or I guess you can count in this episode, I have two deaths. That did not go well. And uh, you can see from the tree over there, I have made it a little bit less wonky. Yes, I did say the word wonky. In the last episode, I called the tree wonky, and I have no clue where that came from. It just popped out of my mouth, and I've actually never used that word my whole entire life. But, uh, yeah, I called the tree wonky, and uh, I made it a little bit less long wonky. Let me just fly up a little bit. Hopefully no more creepers explode me. I should be good, but that is strange. I got two deaths in uh, one episode, I guess you can count that. And I actually did not do my live stream yet. I couldn't leave the tree wonky, so I decided to change it up a little bit. Let me just get some food in my hotbar. And uh, I'm going to blame these deaths on uh, my button remapping, because that's what it has to be. Definitely my button remapping, even though I fell off the tree and the creeper blew me up. But you can see I fixed that area over there, and then there's a couple more spots, like right over there on the tree. And then on this side, there's one more corner I just got to fix on the tree, and then it's going to be a whole lot less wonky. Just right over there, and then it'll be all done. But you can see that now I'm getting a little bit better at the custom trees, and I think I understand how to put the leaves on. You can see there's a couple more blocks that have to be put over there, and that over there just has to get fixed out, and it is all done. And the piston door is still no more. I haven't done the live stream yet, but after this clip, I'll be going on to the live stream. So, hopefully I can figure out a piston door and not get blown up by Larry Creeper, and make this tree less wonky, I guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Forget the live stream. Guys, remember this build? The uh, museum, the long lost museum. The long forgotten museum. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm starting working on the museum again shortly. Once I finish the barn, maybe, possibly. Probably the whole village, but it's coming back, don't worry. Um, but yeah, it has this thing called a 3x3 piston door in front of it. And then I thought like, huh, wait a second. If I flick this lever, does that look familiar? <laughs> that looks like the redstone door I want to build. And if I flick the lever down, that disappears and there are no pistons in sight so i can actually do this to that door over there and i don't know why it took so long to realize it what i did is i uploaded the other video to youtube and i was like wait a second i started going through my videos i'm like i have a 3x3 piston door i think i have two blocks that go like that exactly like that so then i was like that that's that's my secret entrance right there how come i did not think of this anyways that's what I'm going to do for my secret engines right there, so I'm going to build that real quick and then go to the live stream. So sorry guys, waiting for me to the live stream. I wanted to go to the live stream, but that, it just popped my mind and I had to record to show you guys. And also, I did a tiny bit of work on the tree just because I can't go into the live stream with the tree looking so ugly. U-G-L-Y. But... U-G-L-Y. Yeah, I spelled it right, I spelled it right, I spelled it right, I spelled it right. So I did a little bit of work on the tree and it's actually looking beauty now. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. There's one last part at the bottom over there that I have to fix in the live stream, which I'll do. But over here, it's going to get my redstone piston door real quick and it shouldn't take too long. And with a flick of a wrist, the super secret tree is now open. And the redstone behind it wasn't very hard at all. It was just pretty much putting my piston door and making sure that all the redstone is hidden. So I had to switch around a few blocks, but it was pretty easy to switch around and it's all done and complete. Now, I wasn't going to go downwards with this treehouse, but I'm doing a lot of downward secret house anyway. So what I'm going to do is just put some ladders going up, and maybe I'll have just a launch at the top over there, or an enchanting table, just something weird in the treehouse. I don't know, it's going to add a little build to the church, and it's nice, I like it. And the sheep can actually, hold on a second. Blue sheep, you've been walking around my world for a very long time, and oh, come on, come on, no, you're not going to fit because your hitbox, oh, oh, oh my goodness. I'm going to prank someone with the sheep. Please stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. No! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, go back, go back, go back. Come on, sheep. This is going to be the best prank ever. Just please, please go back. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, sheep. Just get in there. 
Just, just walk there. Don't walk away, please, 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 please. Just do this one favor for me. All right, you stay there, sheep. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, sheep prank is complete. Okay, now on to the live stream. And the live stream is finally done. So what I did is I added a few more blocks to the tree over there to fix it up a little bit just because it was a looking a little bit off a bit, but the tree looks fine. And the sheep, I think, is still trapped behind here. Let me listen. Yeah, it's still, maybe, I don't know. I, I can't hear the sheep at all. I hope it didn't die. I really want to prank someone with that. But uh, yeah, you notice that I extended out the pathway all the way over here and added the lamps on the sides just like that. And there's little stumps on the side over there just because I'm going to be building custom trees over there. Just I haven't found a design for those custom trees yet and it's hard to build small custom trees in Minecraft just because it's a game of blocks and it's hard to make circles with blocks. But the pathway is going to end over there just because there's nothing really planned for there. So there's probably going to be no work done over there, but at least the pathway is built now. Now, the next thing I need to do is find a horse. Because a long time ago, when I built the date, great date, date, great decoratory temple, I lost my horse over there. And uh, I've looked around for him and I, I can't find him. I, I just can't. The only horse I have right now is this little skeleton horse there. And I, I don't want a horse like that. I want a brown coat horse. That's right. So I want a horse like a Pona. And I'm going to hopefully find him over there because I saw there was a plains field over there. But as Thor says, I need a horse. <laughs> I have found my horses of noble birth. There lies the three horses of the future Epona. So, <laughs> okay, I can't do that with a straight face. <laughs> so I found normal brown court coat. Oh my goodness, I have so much trouble at saying the zombie. Hello, where are you? Anyway, I have found normal brown coat horses and a whole bunch over here. So I'm going to see which one is the fastest out of... Oh, and black stallions. Perfect. All the horses I need are right here. Because I was actually going to say I need to go looking for a, a black horse and a white horse, and I found both of them right there. That's great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back to my house, and you back to my house, and hopefully one of them can jump high and one of them can run fast. Then I'm going to make a super horse baby, and that will be my Epona. The brown coat horse. It's like a tongue twister for me. I brought two saddles, so should be enough. And let's see how many hearts you have, Mr. Horse. You have, uh, what was that, 10 hearts? Or 9? 11? Something like that. Alright, come on, come on, let me tame you. Ease up, easy, easy girl, easy girl. Am I off you or am I on you? Are you tamed? Nope, can't open your inventory. So, it looks like this is going to take a while, so once I get to tame this horse, we will find out if it's fast or can jump high or none of the above. I hope it's, oh, there we go, it's tamed. Alright, let's see what you can do, horse. Can you jump? Oh, I think he's quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible at this. All right, that's that's some jumps, but that's that's that, that's some wheels. That's some wheels. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna tame this horse real quick and see which one of them is the fastest. And if they both branch out the same speed, then uh, I guess I'll just take the one with the most health, or I'll just take them both just so I can breed up more super babies of horses. And maybe I'll come back for the uh, donkeys and white stallions after. Yeah, I'll come back for those. But let me just quickly see what this horse has got for me. Uh, it turns out the other horse is not that great. It only has, I think, 9 hearts and or 10 hearts, whatever the max is on the first bar. And doesn't jump. And it's not fast at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Epona. This is my future horse right here that you see. Hi. And if you guys do find a clever name for this horse, just let me know down in the comments below. I, uh, I want to keep the name Epona, but if anyone does have a clever name for a horse that fits well with my series, just let me know, and I will gladly change the name and name tag it to that name. Or if you just want to name it after your gamer tag, I might just choose that. But Epona is going to bring me... That's not good. How many hearts do you have? Ah, oh, you're so good. See, Epona's nice and strong. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Epona, jump! Okay. Never mind. I thought that was three blocks high. That was... It's four blocks high, but it can jump three and a half blocks, which is still good. So I have now a horse, and maybe when I finally build a barn, I can build a stable for my horses and breed a whole bunch of horses there. I want to bring back the white horses and the black horses to breed up some white stallions and some black stallions because I just love. Wow, that's like a giant triangle over there. I just love those types of horses, so I can't wait to build that barn. 
Just, I don't know when it's coming. I mean, I wanted to build it this episode, but I don't think it's going to be this episode. I still haven't found the design for the barn, but I really want to build that barn. And this horse is, is making some distance. Look at that. Jeez. Man. I mean, flying with the Elytra would have been a whole lot faster. But still, the horse is it's pretty quick. And, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to find a design for the barn, but I just I just can't. It's, it's hard. I, I don't know what to do. But I, I think I'm going to find a design eventually, hopefully sometime very soon, because this guy needs a home now. And look at that! Jump! <laughs> and, um, yeah, I can't walk across water with him. So, I'm going to put him in, um, I guess the outhouse over there, and then see if I can find a design for the barn. But I don't think it's going to be this episode. So probably in this episode, I'll do some more base maintenance, work around the base, just fix up a few things, tidy everything up, just get everything nice and good for my new horse. And um, we'll probably bring back the other white stallions and the black stallions, just because I want to set my horse collection. So, this is your new uh, home. This is where the horse is going to be staying in the outhouse until I have a barn over there. But, wait a second. Is that music playing? Yeah, it is music playing. I can hear some music. So that can only mean one thing. It's time for a time lapse. And we now finally have a barn. Yes, that is right, we have a barn. I was just kidding with you guys when I said I wasn't going to build a barn this episode. I was trying to make it a little funny. I guess it wasn't that funny. But the barn is built. Now there's just one thing about the barn that I want to show you guys. When you notice in time lapse, I was doing two different types of doors. A door like that and a door like that. Now I'm not too sure which door I like. Right now I like that design but it doesn't go well with uh, the roof over there but I find this design would go better with that so if I take this design I might switch that up which I don't want to do so I might end up just going for this design just because it matches that one better even though this one looks so so much better so let me know in the comments again which door you want me to build because I I like this one I like this one I like this one so much but I think this one goes better with the roof but let me know in the comments what story you like. And um, just like the church, like the church, there's no back. <laughs> oh, look, there's a zombie villager up there. Yeah, and it's really dark in here. That's why I'm, I'm not going in there to show you guys what it looks like. Because a mob's going to spawn up and kill me, give me three deaths. And I don't. Oh, Track Prince is on the server. Hey, Track Prince. He's somewhere up over there in the sky. But yeah, um, I for the back, I'm not too sure what I want to build. Well, I am sure what I want to build. Just. I, uh, 
I want to pretty much stop with the barn and show you guys a little bit of a progress update. Now, on the walls, it looks pretty plain. You see it's just a solid red color. So I was playing around with a few stuff and it came along with the red banner. So what I'm going to do for the walls in my live stream today, and there's two zombie villagers right here waiting to go in this barn, is I'm just going to fill the walls up with red banners going down like that. And over there too, just like that. Like that, like that. And then a couple more like that. And you see, it gives the barn sort of like the old type of wood texture. If you can see it, let me just back up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it gives it like the whole barn the shape inside. That It's perfect with those red banners. Just the only problem is um, banners cost six wool per. And um, yeah, I only have that many banners. And that's another reason why I didn't put the banners all on the barn. Oh yeah, that's going to look nice when it's all over it. And um, it's a pretty big surface area to put. Pretty much... Every single block of clay that I put down, I might have to put a banner. The only thing I might do is maybe go like that, and then that. But you can see there's a little gap in it, so there has to be a banner in between there just like that. It has to be like that. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. So, I'm going to tend to my sheep farm over here. Well, we're not like this in sheep farm. And uh, make a whole lot more red sheep, I guess, because I'm going to need a lot of wool. And the banner just looks nice banner the barn just looks nice from over here now look at that we have the church built up we have the barn oh, that silos for it's the perfect height and then we have the custom tree with the sheep inside of it. oh man i can't wait i love how the world's turning out just plopped a few more banners right over there and i think it's gonna be banners for sure oh man that's gonna be a lot of banners but you know i'll, I'll put it out to a vote anyway let me guys know in the comments if you like the banners or not but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the banners. If you guys can convince me otherwise to not put those banners, maybe because of lag, because, think about it, that's the entrance to all my redstone farms, and then under that barn, which is weird. Yeah, so I can actually, I can, hold on a second. <laughs> I can close that up completely. I don't have to go in there. This boom, boom. There, there we go. So instead of having the redstone farms underground... I can pretty much have all the farms just in here. I mean, look at the size of this. <laughs> I mean, you could fit probably two of the iron, four, four of the iron farms in there. It's not a small barn. It's not a small barn at all. And on the side over here, we're we'll building probably a couple windows in the live stream, and then doing this. You can see underneath like that, just putting a whole bunch more stair, stone stairs going all along over there. That will be live stream work. I just want to get the barn finally built. But I am happy with it. And those zombies are groaning because they want to get in there. So now, I'm pretty sure the toilet still works. Hey, opponent, how you doing? You guys find a name for him yet? I'm waiting for a name. Still waiting for a name. But, um, let's see. I don't need this smooth stance on anymore. So if I go plop, I go down over here. And if I follow this path right over here, don't worry, it's going to get decorated eventually. I just plop up, bloom, bloom, bloom right inside the farm now yes it does look plain and boring and ugly and just a giant red block on the inside but don't you worry guys don't you worry the barn is what i have plans for oh man i did a lot more research on the barn than i did for the church so i know exactly what i'm putting in there how i'm gonna put it and where i'm putting it this is going to be so much fun. I mean, I already have the sugarcane farm over there. The only thing I have to do now is design a new melon and pumpkin farm. If you remember back from episode 5, episode 5, I believe, just because it uh, the title was like End City Melon Farms in the End City, something like that. Automatic Farms in the End City, something along the line of that. I built a new, well, not really new, but a melon and pumpkin farm design. That was pretty cool, but wasted a whole lot of pistons. And, um... Yeah, I want to I wanna design a... I don't have any firework rockets left. I can't even fly away. I want to design a new melon farm to fit in here. And um, size is not an option. I already have the shuriken farm, which is the main farm. Now, the melon pumpkin farm, I mean... Imagine if I did just one farm. And that's a creeper up there. i got to be careful. Just one farm in here. <laughs> it, it's massive. Yeah, mid, uh, mid time lapse, I kind of just stopped. And I was like, I want to fight a wither. I didn't need the beacon. At all, I just wanted to find a wither. I left my beacon all the way at the Mesa biome, and it's ten thousand blocks away. And like, you know what? 
I'm gonna leave that one there. I want to have a beacon for here just in case I need to do a lot of digging because I thought I was gonna do the farm uh, underground and that's why I want another beacon. So I got it, but I don't need it. I don't need it. Unfortunately, guys, that is all the time I have for this episode. It took a lot out of me building that barn, time lapse, getting all the blocks and stuff. So this is a little bit shorter than usual, but don't you guys worry. There's going to be some big plans coming up in later episodes, so you guys are going to have a lot of fun. What I'm going to be doing is spending a lot of time in the barn over here. I'm going to build a Pona, or whatever you guys name it, name it, name the horse in the coming episodes. A little shack, uh, not over there. It's probably going to be alongside the water right behind that outhouse right behind and over there. That will be where the shack is. And then I'll start building the farms and then building inside the barn. But I can't wait to do that. But, I said but a lot. But, this is the end of the video guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, let's see. In the comments say, build that barn. Build that barn in the comments if you made it this far. But thank you guys for watching. This has been Tracking25. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.